I have two <coughs> super powerful words for you. And by the way, this is going to apply to more of you than you probably even realize. These are so powerful that they can actually take us into a different place, an existence that gets you to think a little bit more about what's coming out of your mouth, those words and the beliefs behind them and how they generate reality shifts at all times. And they also contribute to the collective. This matrix is a moving, changing, evolving program, transforming. It is controlled, programmed by us. There's no outside entity because that doesn't even exist. This is quantum physics. All things are one. We're going to talk about that. What are the powerful words? You ready? Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. Well, I talk about all is one in my book. Those of you who've read it, have told me it's blowing you away. You're reading it over and over again. It was a download. What does that mean? I got up at screwball hours to write it. And it just talks about what we are and what's happening right now. That's the chapter called The Tipping Point. We were going to the tipping point, which I talked a lot about. We are now well into it. Where it goes from there, is 100% in our control. And I know you don't think so. This is reality, Landry. I said, no, it's your reality. Ah, let's get to the powerful words. Now, before we do that, I hope you'll subscribe because all of us creators out there put a lot of time into shooting these videos, posting them for you. Those of us who are speaking words of peace and transformation, community, collaboration, uh, compassion, and love. We have a mission, and that is our number one reason for speaking these words that you're going to hear today. Now, I hope you will subscribe and share my videos. Maybe one person will see things a little differently and take it up a frequency notch, but it's still their choice. And that's what we're going to get to today. We've seen a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. And I'm going to bring this up also. I used the word cray cray and one of my subscribers or viewers said, I lost all credibility because somebody over the age of what? 20 or something should never say cray cray. This especially, this video especially applies to people like you. What are people like you? People who make statements for the blanket, for the one. People over 20 lose credibility if they say a word. People over a certain age should not say cray cray. Here are the two words, for me, not for this, for me, own it. Own your judgment, own your separation, own your opinions. I believe, now you don't have to say this every time, I'm asking you when you make those statements not to make them as a blanket statement that just is for everyone because that is impossible and it is not why we came here. Every single person has their own complete reality that is truth. That is truth for me, I believe, for me. The world's going to hell in a handbasket for me because you are claiming and owning those words. So when you criticize and say, you don't understand, so-and-so did this and so-and-so and blah, 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 which who knows where you're getting that information from. You know, what, what are facts? Somebody said, get the facts. I said, what are the facts? Where are you getting your facts? Because what I'm hearing are not facts. There are just more stuff being spewed out there that you decided was a fact. And those two words before you start should be, I believe, blah, 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 for me. Own it. If you can own it, you're creating that reality for you. And if you don't own it, 
you are spewing negativity into the collective and going lower into the basement. When you own it, you actually go up slightly in frequency because you're starting to respect that this is your choice and that not everybody else has to believe it. Lower, the lowest frequency believes that what I believe is truth for everyone and everyone is wrong. That is the greatest separation. That's what causes conflict. All right? That's what causes all the stuff that's going on out there. So no matter what you think about these groups are doing this groups, you're getting so caught up, so caught up in the insanity. And it is insane. People talking to each other like 10-year-old kids, right? This is the facts for me. So-and-so is blah, 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 blah. I believe this is the way it is for me. You are now creating your own world that you accept we don't have to live in because I don't live in your world if you're going into that space. And my reality is very real because all realities exist and that's just quantum physics, that's just science and that is source that has no limits. So when you say things are a certain way, you're saying source has only one way. Source has only one right and one wrong. This is how it is. And we know that's not true. We know that source is all opinions, all realities, all dimensions, all at once, all that is, has been, ever will be existing all at once. Your future self exists right now in another form. Your past and every, every possible choice you've made exists all at once. And every time you make a statement or a thought, you shift into the various choices that are endless. Source has no limitations, none. Source doesn't take sides because it is the other side. What are you doing? Are you taking sides? No, you're wrong, Landria. This is how it is. I don't have to be wrong. You don't have to make somebody wrong to be right. All you have to say is, the world is, they are, this situation is, for me, I believe. Go ahead and own it. How do you feel about that when you make that statement? If it's not a very nice one, a low frequency, then you have to take responsibility for the fact that you're now creating that for you. So even if, like I said, even you say this is how it is for everyone, you are now not only believing it yourself, but now you're imposing your lower frequency separation thoughts on everyone, which actually doesn't harm them. Whether you claim it or not, it doesn't harm anybody. They still get to make their own choices. But now you're imposing it as if you are the head source that has all answers, and no one of us does because all of us do. Does this make sense? Those of you who've read my book know that there is no separation of anything. Nothing has a separate line. There's no separation. It's impossible. Source is one thing, all things. And it doesn't judge those things because how can it judge itself? It can be the form that judges others, experiencing what it's like to judge. It's consciousness experiencing unconsciousness through us. We are the unconscious form of source in dense bodies. If we do not stop this truths of the self imposed on all others, we will never evolve. Now, what I want you to know, here's the very good news, is that you can still go into that space by your choice you can observe the other, not make them wrong, and know that they're just making a choice. You don't have to agree with it. Usually I don't even listen to it. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to criticize it. You don't have to criticize anybody. Well, they did this and they did this. And... 
Shut your pie hole. Talk to the hand. Then you can go into a space where you start living a life that is what you want to experience. But you have to actively take the action. And then I am, I believe, for me, creates your world that you live in. And the even the Bible says, how do you manifest these things? No, it is done. It is just as easy to create a castle as a button because the one doesn't judge anything. It doesn't say something's greater or lesser than anything else. It just, it just creates. So a castle is no big deal. Just a button is no big deal. It's all equal because everyone here is equal. You're equal to the person you think has power over you that you're complaining about. You hold more power for yourself than anybody else because you are allowed free will. So that person has no power. There's no person walking the planet that makes you feel anything or makes you do anything because in here, no one can change that, only you. So you can sit there and argue with people all day about how things are and you are going into a space of separation and that you have the answers. And that is a lower frequency because you're not recognizing that everyone gets to choose. And within that, you will create a world, your future, with every word. And I talk about the words. What is the word coming out? What are the words somebody else uses? Are they negative? Are they names? Are they naming people? You know what we call people, uh, the creators uh, online? We actually talk to, you know, we have these conversations. People that get on and criticize us, that they have no reason to be on our channels at all, but they just go around criticizing people, correcting, you know, uh, insulting. Trolls. You know what I call them? Those who are not unified those who see themselves as separate and enemies, those who are in fear. I see them struggling. I see struggling people and you don't have to be a rug, but can you send them compassion? So every time I get those comments, I know somebody is sitting somewhere trying to control the world with negativity that they believe empowers them, makes them important. I know this and that's this and you are idiots and, right? The name calling and all that stuff. Now, I do occasionally block people off my channel because I don't want you exposed to that. Those who are not bringing or contributing away. So what does that mean? My father has many mansions and within it, all those floors exist. I will not allow in our penthouse room those who are going to disturb the peace and the love that exists there. You are welcome to come into that space, that frequency, when you want to give that love and compassion. But if you want a name call, you're gonna to have to go in the basement where others are name calling. And guess what's gonna be left down there? A bunch of people opposing one another. And if you shift over just a little bit, if you shift over and say, I believe, or for me, at least you're claiming that world and then it will help you if you want to be helped. It'll help you to ask yourself if that is the world you want to live in. Because those facts, you can change them here and create something completely different. You can see the world differently. You can see a person differently. You can see the story differently. And no matter what somebody did, it has no bearing on your choices in your life. And if you're caught up in what they're doing and all these other things, ask yourself why. Why are you doing that? There's a fascination with it, yeah? It's interesting. So we came here in fear and ignorance of what we are. Why? Because it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Why do people slow down to see the car accident? It's fascinating. Why do we go to scary movies? We don't like to be scared, but do we? There's something about it, isn't there? And so there's a whole group of people out there that love the controversy. It's exciting to them. And they're experiencing that, and that's okay. 
but you don't have to participate in that. And if you don't want to, if you want to live a more peaceful world, and I'm fine with that, I could do without the controversy. Are you ready to use your words? You shouldn't wear a hat, Landria. It looks terrible. I believe for me, but don't tell me what to do because I have free will. And all I can say is, then don't wear a hat if you don't like them. But you're not gonna see me changing anytime soon for somebody else because these are things that I love for me. And that's the beauty of the diversity. And when we welcome that, and we respect those opinions of others, and we stop trying to degrade others. As I shared with you in my last video, I looked at the Olympics, I looked at Trump, I looked at Elon Musk, and I saw so much negativity being spewed that's coming back to them. Not to us, it's coming back to them. It will come back to them in a form. Not because it goes out there and boomerangs back, because they just created it. They just created negativity. They just created separation. They just created controversy and disrespect for other people. And by the way, I'm not talking picking on these guys because it applies to everyone. It applies to our current group in the White House. It applies to all of them. They're all playing that game. And there are some light workers out there, but you never hear them because the meek shall inherit the earth. So just know it's happening. It's like you don't hear their mouths going, right? They're sitting in the background creating. And those things that they create that are beautiful and wonderful are coming back and coming back and coming back. And if you don't participate in that, you'll never know it's going on, right? You never walk up to the penthouse and see that there's a beautiful view and champagne up there. You're gonna be down here still arguing about how things are. Yeah, and every single person's going to do that. And guess what, when times get tough, they'll turn on each other they turn on each other because there is no unity in that space, not even for one another. They'll be unified as long as it serves their personal ego. And then the minute the other individual entity steps outside of that, this person is saying, this is how it is. What I believe is right is reality and you are wrong. And therefore creates pain and struggle and suffering and it will go on and you'll see a lot of it because those who believe what they do are going to fight harder to remain in those spaces to convince other people this is how it is. It's going to be with our everything. Things that are being sold in the medical industry, you've got to step away from the world that we've been buying, living, using, and create. Those of you who know about digitalexplorers.net we are creating planet conscious businesses that we own. We are creating real businesses, not running around trying to sell stuff online. We're creating real businesses around your passions. We custom build them around what you love and your purpose and what you want to do in your life for others. And then we create something that you can step out of maybe that world where you're doing things for a living that it's not so nice. I'm giving you options. Yeah, and here. I'm giving you options. I want you to know the power you hold and the reality that you create is your own by choice. It doesn't matter what other people are choosing. Remember, they're just choosing, I believe, for me. I believe, I believe. It is not a blanket way things are. It is endless choices. And you get to choose your reality, your future your existence right now, your frequency is 100% in your control because you are the one, you are the source. And there is no one over you or below you. Again, I hope you'll share these videos and let people know this is very deep stuff and it's so simple. I believe for me. Ooh, do I want to own that? Maybe not. I'll get you to think a little bit, huh? You're powerful, you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Great things are in store. You get to create them right now. Anything you desire. Don't believe it? Well, that's what I believe for me 
I'll see you there. Namaste.